Welcome back to Living in Coastal Delaware, your go-to channel for all things about our amazing area. I'm Matt. Today we are taking you to my top five hidden gems here in Coastal Delaware. So whether you are a local or someone that is considering moving here, this video will give you a fresh perspective on our unique area and what makes it so great. So let's go ahead and get started and head over to our first spot. Here we are at our first stop, Abbott's Mill Nature Center with all of their walking trails and everything to enjoy. This 376 acre parcel really has something for everyone. They've got handicap accessible trails that take you through some wetlands and some lush forests. We've got trails across the street that take you through meadows, all right here, right next to Abbott's Pond. Also on site is a historic working grist mill. Whether you're a history buff or somebody that's looking for a quiet retreat, Abbott's Mill Nature Center, they've got a nature center right up at the start and then they've got the walking trails as well. This is truly a great spot for a peaceful walk and just escaping the hustle and bustle that we sometimes get down at the beaches. But overall, this is one of my favorite spots. If you come here early in the morning time, you can get some great bird watching opportunities for those of you that are you know, interested in that kind of stuff. But otherwise, a great spot to take into nature, escape the hustle and bustle, and just really take a nice quiet walk. Back in the car, and we are heading to spot number two, which is going to be Prime Hook National Wildlife Refuge. It is located in Milton, just outside of Broadkill Beach. So just down the road from here, we'll be there shortly, and we're excited to show you everything they have to offer. Here we are at our second stop, Prime Hook National Wildlife Refuge. If you are a nature lover, this place is absolutely for you. If you just want to take in some nature, enjoy the quiet trails. This place has 10,000 acres of natural wildlife that you can take in. It was put into place in 1963 as part of the Migratory Bird Conservation Act. So there is tons of wildlife to view around here. You can see it on their different trails. We've got trails running through some wetlands here. We've got trails running through the forest. I mean, this place is absolutely spectacular. If you are someone that enjoys taking in nature, this is definitely the place for you. I would suggest that you bring a camera with you because there is so much wildlife that you'll want to take photos of. So don't leave your camera at home if you do happen to come up here to Prime Hook National Wildlife Refuge. We're located right here in Milton, Delaware, and it is one of the best spots among our tour today. As we finish up here at Prime Hook National wildlife refuge again if you are someone that enjoys being in nature and enjoys taking in the wildlife and the sights and the sounds again i highly suggest coming to check this one out now we're going to head just down the road and go check out the broadkill store if you are into quirky off the beaten path kind of places the broadkill store is the perfect place for you now i was going to film inside but there's quite a few people inside so out of respect for them we're just going to do it here from the car but the broadkill store it's an old school general store that sits right here on broadkill beach just steps from the sand and honestly it's a great place to get a scoop of ice cream or a bag of ice for your cooler or even some snacks for the beach to be able to go sit right there on Broadkill Beach. It is a true testament of time as it has been in the same place for a very long time but the Broadkill store here on Broadkill Beach again truly that old school general store that you just really don't see as often anymore. We're thankful that it's here because it makes going to the beach up here on Broadkill Beach a lot easier because you can just stop there and get all the things that you could need for a day on the beach. Now that we're finished up here at the Broadkill store, we are headed down south. We're going to stop in Rehoboth, then we're going to head back to Lewis. We've got two more stops to make on our hidden gem tour. Follow along as we bring you guys two more awesome spots. We are here at the Thompson Island Trailhead in the Thompson Island Preserve, which is right here in Rehoboth Beach. We are just about just over a mile from the ocean here. And not many people know about this great little hidden gem. Not much in the way of parking. You could probably only fit four or five cars in the parking lot here. But this is a great mile and a half or so loop that takes you straight out to the marsh and then straight back. So you've got some great vistas and great views you can take in out there. And you can really indulge yourself in nature while only being about a mile and a half or so from the ocean, which is truly the unique part of this Thompson Island Trail is that not many know it exists and it is so close to the rest of what we have to offer here in coastal Delaware. We understand there may be some days where maybe that first sunburn of the season sets in a little bit harder than you think and you want to be able to take in nature but not sit on the beach. So Thompson Island Trail is a great place to do that. Again, a mile and a half or so out to the end and back. So it's very doable, very flat, all crushed stone, makes it very accessible for those that want to take it in. We do have one more stop on our tour. I think you guys are going to love it. So I'm excited to take you there. Let's go ahead. We're going to get in the 
car. We're going to head just north a little bit and give you our final stop and our final hidden gem here in our tour of Coastal Delaware. So our final stop, we are here at the Lewis Historical Society, which is really a cool piece of downtown Lewis because it gives you a glimpse into what once was here and how the town used to operate. We are the first town in the first state. So it's nice to see the piece of history being maintained. This is right downtown Lewis, right next to the end of 2nd Street at their Ship Carpenter Square campus. Gives you the ability to go into some historic buildings, learn a little bit more about the history of the area, what this area once looked like, and really give you a step back in time type feel and be able to experience all of that right here in downtown Lewis. They do a fantastic job. This campus is open pretty much every day during the summer. They do close in the winter because a lot of these historic buildings don't necessarily have the heating and cooling that they need to stay open in the winter time. but they do a fantastic job here. They run a number of different events. If you are a history buff and you want to learn more about what exactly this area was like, this is the spot for you. Lewis Historical Society, their Ship Carpenter Square campus. Come check it out. That's a wrap on our top five favorite hidden gems here in Coastal Delaware. Hopefully we were able to show you something that maybe you didn't know about before as sometimes these items that we talked about today do get overlooked when people are talking about our area and our area truly is so unique and such a great place to call home. So if you found some value in today's video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. And then if you or someone you know is looking to buy or sell real estate here in Coastal Delaware, me and my team help you with that every single day and we would love to be your real estate resource of choice. So all my contact information can be down below in the description and here on the screen. Hope to see you guys next time. Peace.